What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be installing the oil cash can system and we're going to be installing the fittings on the valve cover and installing the cash can where we want it here in the engine bay, uh, mark up the lines. Also, we are going to be working on the oil cooler system. We're going to be cutting the lines to the, the right light and installing the sandwich on where the filter is to see everything and to be is, uh, checking the route of the lines and see everything is, is good there. So let's get to it. Okay. Okay, we have to modify this, put uh, like 10, dash 10 feedings to feed to the oil catch can. That, uh, it's gonna be uh, on our oil catch can. It's gonna be, no, it is, it is an uh, oil catch can that we're gonna put it there. This is the charge pipe. It's gonna be connected to the turbo. Turbo is gonna be connected here. Turbo is gonna be here. This is the intake pipe that goes to the throttle bodies here. And we modify the fuel rail. Here, it was a check valve from factory, and you can see I installed a fit in there. This is the fit line. It's gonna, th that comes from the tank. We put it in tank, uh, automotive 340 fuel pump. This is gonna be fitting that. This is going, this is the return line here. And the return line is going to the, uh, this automotive, this automotive uh, fuel pressure regulator. This is the sensor, fuel pressure sensor that's gonna tell the computer because we are using a fuel tech computer and this is gonna tell the fuel tech the fuel pressure in the system. And this is, this is gonna be the return. It's connected there and it's connected to the pre, to the OEM factory feed line. We are I'm using the same factory feed line that goes into the tank. I, why, why mess with there? Because it's a, it's a metal line, it's, gonna, it's already connected to the fuel pump, so it's less work for me. So today, we're gonna be buying a reducer here, there, a silicone reducer hose, a clamp. We're gonna be buying a Westgate pipe to install the, the tile Westgate. And you can see it's, it, has, it already have the Bishimoto radiator. So we are almost done to finish that. The only thing we, we need to do is to pick up the flange so we can do a mock up so we can do a mock up for the for the turbo anifort and take it to my friend Angelito that he's the one that's gonna be doing the, the, the complete header. So I'm gonna do a jig so I don't have to take the, the car over there. So we can keep working on the car until he uh, at the meantime he's gonna be working on the manifold. We went and pick, pick up the silicone hose and the, and the clamps. We already installed, I, I already mocked up the charge pipe here, as you can see here. Here it needs, we order uh, the adapter to put the blow off valve there. So we are waiting for that to, to install the blow off and tie everything up. Uh, on Wednesday, we're gonna pick up the flange for the cylinder head and the turbo so we can, uh, in, on the weekend, we're gonna be fabricating the turbo manifold. Okay guys, uh, we're working on the evacuation, eva vapor evacuation system on the car, AKA the oil catch can. So we are, we, we took out the engine valve cover and we already installed the fittings, we look inside of the cylinder head where the all the cam shafts and valves are and we, we strategically position these fittings so they don't interfere or uh, interfere with the valve train system uh, so this is going to be one of the of the fittings this is, these are the dash 8 Fitting males, and we are going to be installing these 90 degrees elbows. It's going to be one because the, the, the 
the car already brings here with a PVC PVC valve, but we are gonna we are gonna delete that one. And this is the other one. So this is gonna take all the blow by uh, pressure that's gonna be building uh, on the engine because of the turbo, and it's gonna be evacuate all the all the vapors and all the gases to the oil catch can. So this is the, the oil catch can. We are. It's Alejandro, move, please. Uh, we are, as you can see here, is uh, is the valve train. You can see it, and here is the oil catch can. We're gonna connect the the two the two dash dash ten hoses from the core to the oil catch can. <laughs> she's she's the one behind all this. She's doing all the all the editing of, uh, uh, all the recording and everything so like i was telling you can you can you record alejandro please because i don't only really have two hands so like, I, like i'm telling you it's gonna be the cover and the core is gonna be here i already explained to you about the fuel system this is gonna be the new PC, what you call in the engine regular as a PCB valve, but we are not going to use a PCB valve. We're going to be using an oil cash can that's going to be located here. This is going to this is going to be the oil cash. This is going to be the oil cash can. As you can see, it has four ports. We are not going to be using the whole four ports. We are going to be using two that are coming from the, the valve cover, and the other one we are going to connect it to the exhaust to the exhaust down pipe with a check valve that e that system is used commonly on the eight cylinder engines but we are gonna be using it here we're gonna connect that the that feeding with a check valve so when you rev the engine it's gonna create vacuum it's gonna create vacuum on the on the in the oil catch can and gonna suck all the air that's gonna be here and it's gonna be Creating the negative pressure is gonna co convert it in a positive pressure because uh, it's gonna be almost like vacuum inside of the engine. So that's what are we, we are working. And another thing that we're gonna be installing is gonna be this because the a lot of stuff inside here. That intake manifold doesn't have uh, <clears throat> too much uh, vacuum port. So we have here. This is supposed to be connected on the uh, brake booster but I found one port here so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this port here I'm gonna connect the, the block and this block is gonna distribute the vacuum uh, it's gonna be here it's gonna be for the fuel pressure regulator the other one is gonna be for the blow off valve uh, this one is going to the fuel tech computer so the, because the computer has the map 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 sensor uh, built in on the on the computer and the other one I don't know when I'm gonna use the other one but we're gonna use it. I think it's gonna be used for for uh, the boost controller so I think we are gonna be using all four of those we're gonna be con connecting everything here to this port here so let's do it So we're gonna be running a hose from here to here. That's gonna be supplying the, the vacuum here. And we're gonna be, uh, like I told you, one is gonna be for the, the regulator. The other one is gonna be for the blow off. The other one is gonna be for the computer. And the other one is gonna be for the uh, boost controller. So that's gonna be all the vacuum we need. Okay, we are going to be installing the rest of the oil cooling system, the, as you remember, we already installed the, the oil cooler, it's already installed there. 
but we have to install the sandwich that goes where the oil filter goes did you say sandwich? sandwich this is a sandwich uh these all these are the lines that are gonna connect from the from the from here to the oil cooler also we are we are gonna be installing the sensor. This is gonna be this is the sending unit that's gonna that's gonna connect to the to the fuel tech computer. It's gonna this this is gonna tell the computer the fuel pressure. And this other line is gonna be the oil feed for the turbo. So this these are all the parts and let's get to it. I already put the oil cooler lines. I'm gonna show you in the bottom. It's already installed, the lines are in place. Remember, I'm just macking up everything. This is not fire. I'm gonna take this all this apart. Those are dash 10 lines. Here goes the oil filter. Uh, I think I'm gonna plug this because previously I, wa I was gonna put the sensor here, but I have a change of plans because I need more space because of these feedings. These feedings are occupying too much space here for the downpipe, so. <sighs> Indo looks great and perfect. I don't know. I want to know if I can fit the three inch downpipe through here. I think so, but look at the, the lines. They look really good. Everything looks good in here. Well, guys, this is going to be all for this video. Uh, in the next video, we are going to be fabricating the turbo manifold in Angelito's house. So uh, stay tuned for that one. It's going to be a great video and you're going to learn a lot of what, how to make a turbo manifold for, for your car. So if you want information of the parts that we're installing here in the car, uh, comment down below and I'll be get back to you with the information. Remember, if you dream of it, Work for it and make it happen. See you in the next one.